Hey everybody, I am David and uh, today I'm going to be talking about Arrow Season 5, Episode 23, Leon Yu. And uh, this is the episode that brings the first five seasons full circle. And what I mean by that is that we have the the flashbacks on the island finally coming to an end. And I even went back to watch the pilot episode <laughs> right before the the new episode aired and uh it was worth it uh that pilot by the way still holds up so let's get right into this finale and then i want to give my thoughts on the overall season um wow this was a really good finale and you know i i thought the flash's finale last night was was really good it was good and i really enjoyed supergirl's finale as well I'll leave my ranking to the finales for tomorrow for my DC TV recap, so st stay tuned for that tomorrow. Uh, but for this finale, I really loved it. I, I thought it lived up to what it was supposed to be, and uh, I, I thought it wrapped up everything for the season very well. It wrapped up the story arc of Leon Yu the island very well and um it gave us some really good action moments it gave us some really great character moments and it gave us something to look forward to to next season and got me really really excited to know what happened uh to certain characters fates um did they all make it out We'll get to there. Uh, let's start off with the beginning. First of all, we got Manu Bennett back as Slade Wilson, Deathstroke, which is freaking awesome. Uh, it was great seeing him back. And I was kind of worried because they had him in the beginning. And we know that he's in this other show in New Zealand, the Shahara Connor Chronicle, something like that. And uh, I, I don't watch it, so I, I don't know the title very well. Uh, but I do know that he's in another show. And he came back for this one. And clearly they didn't have him for like the whole shoot. Because there were times where he had the mask on that you can tell he clearly uh, voiced it later. Uh, but they did have him for a couple of days it looks like. Because he did film a few scenes with the group. With the rest of the cast. I was kind of disappointed he didn't film anything with uh, Diggle. Uh, not Diggle. Hark uh, Harkness. Uh, what's his name? Oh, Captain Boomerang. I was kind of sad because him, the actors that play them, Manu Bennett, uh, the actor who plays Captain Boomerang, and Nysa Al Ghul, uh, Katrina Long, uh, they they were all in Spartacus together. So it was kind of like a little mini Spartacus reunion with three actors. Unfortunately, Manu Bennett, like I said, wasn't in. Really, he wasn't really in the scene with. Captain Boomerang, like that's why he had his helmet on the entire time during those scenes. You can tell those were the days they couldn't have him. Um, but other than that, I mean, we still had his voice uh, in places where he wasn't really there, so it, it brought the continuity all right. Um, and he was badass on the show again, interacting with everybody. But this time, we find out that the Mirakuru had kind of slowly gotten out of his system um and the last time we saw him was like two and a half years ago it was like mid season three so yeah okay i can believe that the miracle finally got out of his system since then i mean he's been in prison what's he been doing eating drinking peeing and pooing so it, it makes sense um obviously we get some really cool fight moments Obvi the ones that i was expecting the most was Black Siren versus Black Canary. And we also got Tally Al Ghul versus Nysa Al Ghul. And uh, so those were some really cool fight moments there. Uh, the, the flashbacks obviously started to wrap up. And I was wondering how they were going to incorporate the long beard and the long hair aspect that we see right in the pilot. Right in the beginning of the pilot. That's how we see him running off. And seeing a boat and uh apparently he just grabs a wig and a fake beard and i guess and slaps it on 
And, uh, yeah, that's how he <laughs> eventually gets saved. So, um, it looks like he didn't have to grow his beard or his uh, stash that long. Or his hair. Because, yeah, there was apparently a, a wig and some fake makeup and shit. All he had to do was, like, roll around in dirt and there. He was on an island for five years. <laughs> Nothing else happened. Uh, okay, fine. That was a little nitpick that, like... I don't know, you know, I, I think that was just their way to get out of that. So I'll, I'll let them pass because the rest of the episode was really great. Uh, because I think the core of it really had more to do with uh, Adrian Chase and him wanting Oliver to kill him. Uh, why? Because he's crazy. Uh, that's why he wants to prove to everybody that he is a killer, that he once was. Um, and so he's planted bombs all around the detonators. So if Oliver kills him or the whole island will blow up and everybody will die with it. It's like he wanted to die with Oliver. He's like so obsessed and consumed with hatred. He wanted to die with the man who killed his father, um, which just shows how insane this character was. And uh, I, I kind of was sad that he killed himself and then the island exploded and we were left wondering what happened to everybody else that was on the freaking island wow uh so they definitely left with a bang i'm gonna say that uh there were some great twists and turns in this episode too man there was that moment where not the part where where uh captain boomerang uh betrayed team uh, or oliver and everybody but it was the part where Slade switched, or they made us think he, he switched on Oliver. That I wasn't expecting. And um, and then we find out, oh, no, no, that, that was just a, a trick. So they tricked us twice with Slade. I'm, I, I got to give the, the, the writers props on that. And then um, Oliver's son, um, Adrian Chase, made us think that he had actually killed... Uh, Oliver's son and I'm like man would would the writers really have the balls to do that I I asked that question like a week or two ago in one of the other reviews if they had the guts to do that I would say bravo and they made me think they did they really did the actor who plays Adrian Ch or Prometheus uh he really sold it on me I really did think oh man maybe he did kill him uh but no thankfully William is alive and Oliver was able to rescue him uh, with a cost because Adrian Chase shoots himself. Uh, like I, I think I said that already, but it was a really good, well, really well executed finale. Um, so with that being said, let me give my overall thoughts on the season. This season was definitely this season we deserved. For I would say season four because season three, yes, season three you could argue that it was the one that started to fall. But I say the first half of season three was actually really good. It was like season two level still at the beginning of season three. It was the the later half that started crumbling apart a little bit. So I would say that this was the season we should have got with season four. This was a really this was the season I was hoping season 4 would have been. A really strong season that literally had almost every episode be as important as it needed to be leading up to the finale. Uh there was almost there were maybe a few episodes I could have done without here and there, but for what it was worth, I thought Prometheus was a really great villain, much more interesting than Savitar. And, I, you know, they didn't waste no time revealing who Prometheus was. Like, let's show who this was. Like, I get what Savitar was all about. And they wanted they, they wanted this huge shock at, towards the end of the season. But I felt you could have done that faster earlier on. Just like they did with Prometheus. They did, like, around, around like, very early in the new year when we came back from Christmas break. Which I thought was really clever. And 
the 100th episode, I gotta say, was also really good. Uh, we got some really great new characters like Wild Dog and Ragman. I was actually kind of hoping Ragman would show up uh, in in this episode. But we got Mora. I forgot to mention that, man. Having the episode end uh, in the, the flashback with Mora, uh, Mora, yeah, Mora talking to Oliver on the phone while Oliver, after Oliver saved his son, it was like a n really nice moment and very, you know, you have the past having the, the the parent happy that their son is coming home and you have the present where the father is now happy that his son is safe. So it, it kind of mirrored a little bit from, from the past and the present, which is what the flashbacks sometimes always did brilliantly and I thought they did uh, really well here. So, uh, and we got to see her also in the 100th episode as well as Robert Queen a couple of times. Um, you know, I, I, this season was really great, man. And I kind of wish they didn't kill Katie Cassidy off in season four. I applaud them for sticking true to their guns. I mean, we do have Black Siren. And ever since Black Siren was introduced in the Flash season two, it was always my speculation that they would make her the Black Canary. And we do know Katie Cassidy is coming back back as Black Siren. So it looks like she might have escaped the island uh, when it was exploding. She's coming back for season uh, six. So is she going to be a main villain? Or is she going to be a character that's going to try to redeem herself? I mean, we already do have a Black uh, Canary. So, which is Dinah Drake. So, yeah, it's it's all up to the writers at this point. There's nothing, I, I don't have no, nothing to speculate, no theories, nothing on that. And she could be the villain next season. I mean, I'd be up for that. I think that would be cool. Black, so maybe she's building up an army of other villains that want revenge on Oliver or something like that. I don't know. Um... Yeah, guys, uh, this was a really great season. I can't wait to see where they go next season, how they're going to uh, show us how... I hope they don't half-ass it, you know? Like, when when the last great episode of Arrow, I remember, uh, before season five started, uh, was that episode where he fought Ra's al Ghul on a mountain. Ra's al Ghul killed him, or made us seem like he killed him, and then and then uh, kicked him off the cliff. And then when he, they came back, oh, he was healed from the strong will to survive, and uh, and uh, his wounds were able to freeze or something. It was a stupid explanation uh, on bringing him back. So I hope they find a f smart, clever way at finding out. Maybe Nysa or Diggle or whoever uh, figured out a way to start the plane and they all got off somehow. I, but I hope there's a little bit more to it than that. Um, we're going to have to wait and see. So, guys, I'm ending this here. Oh, you know what? I just figured that out. I think they're going to even show it in flashbacks. That's how they're going to do the flashbacks next season. They kind of teased it with that. Uh, this season when it, the one with Felicity and Oliver uh, trapped in the bunker when they were showing what happened after the events of season four, uh, how Oliver and, and Felicity decided to break it off for a little bit. I think that's how they're going to reveal it. They're going to show us the flashbacks to one of the characters or maybe all of them and show how they all got off the island during that time. There you go. That's how it's going to happen. So with that being said, guys, now I'm ready to end this video. Tell me your thoughts on the Arrow Season 5 finale. And tell me your thoughts on the overall season. And uh, like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And until next season of Arrow, guys. Hopefully Season 6 can continue this winning streak that I think Arrow's got back up again. Um, take care.